this video will show you uh, importing a chart of accounts from Excel file into QuickBooks Online. So I'm on uh, QuickBooks Online homepage screen here. Uh, chart of accounts is right here. Chart of accounts. Left navigation bar. Transaction. Chart of accounts. This is your chart of accounts. And you can also come here and from your settings you can also select chart of accounts. It will go to the same place. Okay. A uh, couple of things. Okay, the chart of accounts, the Excel format has to be something like this. It has to have detail type. It should match with uh, QuickBooks Online format. It has to have category type. It has to match with uh, uh, QuickBooks Online format. So in order to get that, you just come here. And as you can see here, just click New. There's no way to print that format. You have to come here and look at it. So category type is right here. Just click this one. So it will give you the category type from here and uh, once you select a category type let's say I select expenses so it will give you a uh, detail type in here so detail have, has to match expand a uh, category type has to match and a name you assign and uh, if you're going to uh, assign account number uh, you will assign account number too and also one thing if you want to make a sub account you can't do it uh, when, when importing. You have to do it separately. It's only a, a parent account right now. Okay. And also, uh, no opening balance. If you know, have opening balance, it won't import. There's no field for that. Okay. So this is the format. Detail type. It comes out from QuickBooks Online. An account name, you assign it. Account number, you assign it. Category comes from uh, QuickBooks Online. Opening balance, it's your own opening balance. And if you're going to assign account number, you have to enable account number in QuickBooks Online. So here is your company gear, company settings, advanced, and chart of accounts. Enable account numbers. It's off right now. You have to enable it. Here's the account numbers. And done. Okay. So now you will see uh, account number field in here. It's right here. Uh, and uh, uh, it's a uh, seven digits lip maximum as you can see it here it won't it's seven right here seven I missed five there okay uh, so uh, up to seven okay we're gonna import it from here you can import it from here directly from chart of account or from gear and they have an import data in here this is where you import uh, all other stuff customers vendors list and product and services list it will take you to the same place okay and uh, before I do that I want to make sure the uh, Excel format is right here let's put opening balance in here and I'll show you what happens let's say $120 there and the category type let's say there's no uh, there's a bank but there's no banking I'm just gonna put banking in there okay so browse it and this is the file I want to import next okay so in your detail type same account name same account number said no math because uh, uh, in here uh, column heading I put account number here like this and so you're going to select that one and in here it's it's, it's they, they have a type uh, but it has to do with the uh, the category type so you know so the category type not a detail type so the type they have is for category type next as you can see here uh, we put in banking but they don't have banking so I'll have to do manually adjust fix it so it's the bank the moment you change the bank the, the detail type is fine and uh, everything is fine account numbers everything is good okay so then you import it see what happens okay and they have a uh, auto expense in here uh, it's th this saying if you want to change it they already have auto expense and you can change it to to mobile expense or it's basically it's override okay here we go and so if you go to chart of accounts now uh, you want to do that one so go to chart of accounts actual chart of accounts 
as you can see here they all imported now and it didn't import opening balance because uh, they don't have any opening balance field in here so now if you want to uh, enter opening balance then uh, you have to enter it uh, uh, manually and we have a separate video for that one okay so that's how you have to do it and uh, the list is like uh, 1000 so you can list up to 1000 I don't think you will have a 1000 rows chart of accounts but that's the maximum limit and uh, if you have the same account name it will override it but uh, it won't subtract if you import the list if you already have accounts in here it won't subtract it but if you if you have the same account name it will basically override it so uh, that's about it on this one Thank you for uh, watching our video. Thank you. Come back again.